Welcome, welcome everyone, as we are live streaming from the floor of ITW 2024, kicking off day two here in this amazing venue, a stone's throw away from fabulous DC, the nation's capital here in the States. I am Jamie Scott Okataya, CEO and founder of JSA, and joining me here today, I am so excited, we're gonna have some fun guys. This is John Coleman, the SVP of Global Sales for NetNumber. John, welcome, welcome. Thank you, Jamie. Great to be here again at ITW with the GISA team. Yes, we love having you here. And, you know, we're going to talk about some serious, serious topics. Uh, we're talking brand uh, impersonation and, and really how do we secure our phone number intelligence data, uh, stuff that we really, really need to know. But just to kick it off, have a little fun. We were talking impersonations just before we went live here. And you, you've got some good ones. You mind breaking some ice and sharing with us? Jamie, I, I'm more than happy to. So, uh, you know, one of the top of the food chain in celebrities are singers, and who better than Elvis Presley? I mean, you know, the Beatles were enthralled, and you know, right. when they first met him, met him, uh, they came into his hotel room in Vegas, and he said, "Thank you, thank you very much for coming by." Thank you, thank you very much. That's no, fun. I think you got me beat. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done, John. All right, so let's get serious now. What is brand impersonation and why should I be nervous? Um, well, uh, I, brand impersonation, you've probably experienced um, some spam text messaging that's been happening. Uh, a lot of the carriers are uh, concerned about that on behalf of their subscribers. Uh, you'll see text messages come in and it'll include um, information that looks like it's coming from your bank or some other um, enterprise that you have a relationship with. And it's a way to entice people to enter their information, engage with them, and then uh, eventually collect enough personal information where they can commit fraud. So uh, the um, the things that have been happening lately are we've been trying to come up with services that address that. So NetNumber as a central repository that's in touch with the MNOs and the provisioners and the communication service providers as a service, the CPASs, uh, we are the central registry for uh, telephone number data. And one of the things that uh, we have now that helps with that is a couple of services called Number Lock and Number Watch. And what Number Lock does is allow enterprises to register their telephone numbers so they are blocked from being text enabled. And that way, messages can't come from numbers from financial institutions, other enterprises that would normally um, be potentially used, like a, a, a bank branch number, for instance. Yeah. Um, and then in addition to that, we have something called Number Watch, and what Number Watch does will notify that enterprise, hey, someone is trying to use your number and register it. So those two services, uh, as we sit centrally in, in the messaging ecosystem, help prevent uh, brand impersonation. Number Lock and Number Watch products to lock into and watch. So yeah, let's do there that. You go. All right, so how do you stay informed with uh, new FCC mandates? I feel like the regulatory uh, compliance measures there's so many and they change so often. How do you, how do you keep informed uh, to the relevance uh, for our industry? Um, great question. So we have a, a great team here uh, that stays in touch with uh, what's going on in, in, with the FCC, uh, along with um, uh, the messaging ecosystem. We're members of the mobile ecosystem forum that you're well aware of. And uh, we stay in touch with industry leaders and participants and, and one of the things we also try to do is stay uh, in tune with what we already have that's available to be used to help with those uh, guidelines and regulations and, and mandates coming forth. Um, most industries don't want to be regulated. They want to um, self-regulate, which seems to be better and faster for uh, the ecosystem and the market. So one of the things that we do uh, today to meet uh, one of the FCC requirements around um, uh, texting is they want to make sure that um, only uh, valid and assigned active telephone numbers are being used. Uh, one of the services we have is called Number Check, number check. which makes sure that you can, you can query a telephone number 
and you're only routing messages uh, that are active and assigned along with the FCC guidelines to help again uh, combat spam and fraud. I love that. I love this. I, it's an education and entertainment value here. One thank, last thank question. You. Thank you very while, much. <laughs> one last question for you while you're in the hot seat for me. All right. Tell us about this all new. I, I'm hearing it. N-I-A-A-S, Number Intelligence as a Service. Yes. Yeah. So um, it's, uh, it's a unique new market segment. Uh, I think uh, there's, there have been only a handful of companies involved in it. But um, uh, number intelligence as a service is uh, a market segment around telephone number information as a service uh, where you can take a telephone number and provide attributes about that telephone number in order to make better decisions on behalf of enterprises and, and customers that use it. Um, uh, we've just uh, issued a, a white paper or worked on a, on a white paper report with Heart Stance. Uh, you'll be able to access that from our website, netnumber.com. Uh, and it outlines uh, information about what number intelligence as a service is, uh, how it is unique, and it's not just a, a traditional um, uh, service that's been out there in the past. And you'll see a lot of details about how telephone number information can help you. I love this. Netnumber.com, guys. John, thank you for kicking off day two in such a fun fabulous manner with me here. I so appreciate uh, your time and insight. It's great as usual. JSA is a great team. Great to be working with you guys on such a sunny, wonderful day. Thank you. And thank you viewers for tuning in to us live here on the floor of ITW 2024. As always, guys, happy networking.